ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Yeah, well, okay. And that's good. Few last questions. Uh, toughest fight in your amateur career. What was it? How, what do you remember about it? Um, I want to say Crystal Dixon was probably my uh, the hardest fight that I've ever had. It was the only fight I ever woke up from, and I was actually sore. What made it hard? Well, um, so I've, I've, fought, I've fought quite a few undefeated fighters, and usually undefeated fighters, they put up the hardest struggle and the most intense fight uh, the intensity of the fight picks up per round, especially if they feel or they know that they've been losing round over round. So um, you're going to get their best punches um, as the fight progresses. And if you're not um, defensively sharp, but also mentally strong, they start to tear you down. So um, Crystal actually put up the absolute hardest fight. She did not want to lose that fight. Okay. Um good gym story um i don't know i got quite, quite a few i mean oh so uh i have strength and conditioning with adrian peterson i'm um, in the off season and okay. usually uh we have to you know we do sprints and we'll have to get on the line and the nfl guys will be on one side and of course the boxers would be on the other side and uh my coach thought it was interesting to have me and adrian next to each other i was like it's hall of fame speed and he was like all right go and it's just like i don't <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to be here <laughs> i had a buddy who played in college against adrian peterson and he said every time you you try to tackle him it knocks the wind out of you <laughs> it was like by the fourth one i'm like i'm giving up on tackles i don't care what my coach says because he's like it physically he said it to not that we should talk all about him but he said it physically felt like grabbing iron and then a weight falling on you every time at a hard fast speed no that guy's fast like that I, I like before I came uh, down to Houston, I used to always, uh, I used to be, though well, I'm sure I used to be, I still am an Adrian Peterson fan, but I didn't, of course didn't know him. And then the first day he walks into the gym, I'm like, try not to be a geek about it, you know, and be like, oh, you're Adrian Peterson. Of course he knows who he is. Um, but of course, over time, seeing Adrian all the time, and of course, uh, training next to him, I was just like, man, this guy is incredibly fast. And consistently fast. Like, he doesn't break down. Yeah, that's that's the scary part. It's like where it's like an hour and he's still at the same duration. His 100% stays, that meter stays full. Yeah, he's, I've heard mythic stories about his strength. My problem is, like, I'll be around, like, a boxing workout and there'll be, like, a guy like Michael Crabtree or Frank Gore. And without the helmet on, I don't recognize anyone. So I'll just yeah. be like, that guy's like freakishly strong at the squat rack. Like, who's this boxer? And it's like, oh, he's a pro player. Oh, that makes sense. They're doing like a thousand pounds, literally. And it's like easy. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because I thought like some boxers in the gym able to break, like use every single piece of weight in the gym, but it's an NFL player. Yeah, no, your boxer's got a 45 pound plate. They're doing like 50 squats. <laughs> yeah they're, they're barely they're barely like bad form and everything and the coach is just saying doing it well uh before like i guess before i get you out of here tell people why should, they should tune in how they can watch this fight um and just yeah just the basic information about this fight um i believe it's on salita promotions i shouldn't say i believe i know for a fact it's on salita promotions um and i believe the website is like a fire tv of fight tv f-i-t-t-e dot tv just got your back like an alley -oop. there you go appreciate you um yeah i think ticks are on sale now the pay-per-view is about thirty thirty dollars the card is stacked um marlin's gonna open the card the tv on the pay-per-view card and that's gonna be a good fight she's uh fighting a girl from canada 
Um, and I believe either me or uh, there's a light heavyweight bout, my bout, and I believe Clarissa uh, will close out the show. So I feel like the card's loaded. Um, you're going to see some good boxing. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Look, I'm going to sell the fight also for you. Look, a lot of people used to go out, they'd go to the bar, they'd spend about $30 to try to do whatever they do. Just stay at home, spend the $30, tune in. You're going to see at least one or two knockouts. You're going to see one of the best boxers. Of course, is on my pound-for-pound list. So one of the pound-for-pound boxers, typically this would cost like $80. You get it for $30, and you got Saturday and Sunday to do whatever you got. You should have probably $30 laying around. I think you should get it. That's my sale. Uh, where can people follow you on social media? Uh, my uh, Instagram is chambers11221. 